Now next we'll move on to like the other important uh, physical features that we need to remember regarding the North America. So I have arranged the important factual details like, you know, which is related with the physical map. So we'll start with the uh, desert. We got the two deserts here. One the Sonaran desert right here. Then we got the uh, Mojave desert right. Both are mentioned in our physical geography right even in NCRTs. They are located in the western margins because of the uh, lying in the uh, trade wind belt right. Trade wind belt of the trade winds will be creating the deserts on the western margin as well as we got the uh, Californian cold current here so cold current as well as the wind which is the offshore wind the trade wind is offshore here is he's creating the deserts towards the western margin of North America namely the Sonoran desert and the Mojave desert another factual detail I mean fact you need to remember is the death valley now death valley which is actually given as three and it is marked as three here which is wrong rather the death valley is here so the death valley is the like the deepest point like i'm not considering the trenches the deepest point in the uh, like the north america right it's minus 86 meters then two very important national parks like you know some, most sometimes mentioned in news Yosemite uh, National Park and Yellowstone National Park right Yosemite National Park and Yellowstone National Park National Park and we got a river here like you know which is uh, called as a uh, Yellowstone right now the Yellowstone National Park is very famous for like the volcano based like in you know, eruptions not volcanic eruptions in Jari, rather than like in you know, a hot springs and like in you know, a geysers can be found here right you must have seen about the color of the Yellowstone like you know, it's a very beautiful national park and we got hot springs which is the uh, mineral rich uh, water uh, and like the um, geysers which erupt upwards right the hot spring doesn't erupt but the Jesus they erupt right so world's largest number of Jesus are located in the uh, Yellowstone National Park in the US the next uh, the grasslands right so, so far we have seen the elevated regions like the mountains the plateaus now let's see the uh, plains right so the plains in north america is called as prairie land right we have seen it earlier like related with this there are temperate grasslands like steppes as well as pampas so prairie land is in north america and it's seen over these these regions right the prairie land on both sides you know these we will be able to find the prairie land then labrador now this region is the Labrador okay we have curated our most awaited course current affairs plus the plus approach to current affairs in cap all geography topics relevant for the prelims 2021 examination is covered in detail so that you will not miss on any questions from geography path we have also included a map session to give you a detailed understanding for the places in news to know more about cap Please click on the link given in the description below. Why wait? Enroll to our current affairs program and ensure your seat in Mainz 2021. And this C here is a Labrador C right and another important detail is the uh, like the region called as Newfoundland is located at here located here right now. Uh, we all must have heard about the sinking of Titanic, Titanic, uh, the ship. So the uh, the icebergs were carried from the cold Labrador Sea through this region, which is called we got a cold ocean current here, the Labrador current carried the icebergs to this Newfoundland, and from where it collided with the Titanic, and then eventually the Titanic sank. Right. So remember these regions, Newfoundland. This is a, a very famous fishing ground, Newfoundland, because of the convergence of two oceanic currents, the Gulf Stream from here and the Labrador Sea from the top okay then we got the Laurasian plateau here which we mentioned earlier uh, the term is related with the uh, climatic regions okay then the Nova Scotia here the Nova Scotia and the Bay of Fundy right now Nova Scotia and the Bay of Fundy is famous for the very large tidal range and uh, they are generating tidal energy from these regions okay and the canadian shield we mentioned earlier this region is a canadian shield then we got the north magnetic pole now this was just appeared in news now this picture is actually the picture of the north america is taken from the atlas and here we got the north i mean the northern magnetic pole or the north magnetic pole is located in the queen elizabeth island which are part of the uh, canada 
and it appeared in news recently uh, the magnetic north magnetic field unlike the geographical north pole and south pole is not fixed so the south and north magnetic field they change their position now they are moving towards the russia side and recently it was news that it has it had uh, like you know crossed the ideal line okay so the now the north magnetic pole is not on the canada's peninsula rather towards the e west of ideal line and it has entered the siberia right so you can expect a question regarding like you know the position of north magnetic pole there was even one previous year question like you know back into near 2000 and all 2005 i guess so the statement was like the north magnetic pole is lying on the canada's uh, peninsula which was actually correct at that time but now it has changed its position towards the uh, uh, it has moved past the ideal line and it is on the siberia right so remember that fact now another two key details which i forgot to mention the capital of uh, like you know the capital of canada is ottawa which is located here okay and the capital of uh, like the us is washington dc right